everyone. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Goodness. What your hair? This is unpro how unprofessional of me. Um, we got our hair done yesterday, Style. as you can tell. You can't really see the colours in mine, but I've got blues and purples, mm. so here we go. Pull it out. I'll put a light on it and say if it picks up. Yeah. yeah. You can see more there. Just light me eye then. Um. That's showbiz, kid. We um we couldn't why couldn't we film yesterday? Oh we got back too late to film yesterday. Yeah, we so, left the house at nine before nine in the morning. Before nine in the morning. Didn't get back here till like seven I wanted to say. It was gone say. seven. Very um, good. So we had that yesterday, that was Saturday. And this morning we were meant to get up early to film and we slept in. We had a nice little lie in, we had a nice little walk through the shops. And yeah, we had just... to get some stuff and then I've just Fell asleep on the couch. Oh, I was just gonna say you'd been busy. I no, I, I literally like was exhausted, couldn't move, couldn't think, couldn't wake up. Right, tried to wake me up like four times, and I was just like. So, but I'm feeling a bit better now. All good and ready to film. So that's why this video is a bit late today because we're actually filming on Sunday at four o'clock, and we need to get this filmed, edited, and uploaded today. So today, today. I'll finish my cold coffee. I haven't started my tea that Ryan made me while I was asleep. I was hoping it would like inspire you to be awake. I know. I need You're to do some sweet. stitching. Ryan's gonna stitch while um, I talk through the first part of the video. And then, uh, so okay, the first half of this video is gonna be kind of explaining a little bit of what we're doing this month. And you've probably seen me post on Instagram and in our Facebook group if you follow me over there. Mm. Um, so just be explaining a little bit about that, um, explaining about what we're doing for the month, and then after that I'm gonna show you my whips. I've got a couple new bits to show you, and yeah, very exciting. I feel like we should also just say now, it's the day after bonfire night, people still have fireworks, so if you hear that, yeah. we're um, sorry, we're working with what we can. I don't know if people from other countries <coughs> know what bonfire night is, but it's basically, 5th of November, everyone sets off fireworks, and because the big display that usually happens where we live was cancelled, everyone bought them for their own garden. There's been a lot of back garden displays. And we've just had some go off, and the dog does not like fireworks, but he's got an anxiety blanket that he can use, so yeah. if you hear him, he's fine. My mum's looking after him. It's all good. I came down here like quite late last night. I think it must have been like 11 o'clock to get something, and next next door how next next house over maybe setting up fireworks honestly it was like a false dawn at one point <laughs> i didn't have the lights on at the bottom end of the kitchen but it was like the middle of the day i was like oh my goodness so that's that it, it was a lot last night i've missed out on stitching this week because i've been doing a lot of not stitching related but still like definitely needed things like i've been fixing the roof in my car that was jake's service oh, all right okay. i was looking at the mock-up the other day for something but oh. oh, I've just thought of another new thing. Sorry. Fixing the roof of my car, hadn't I? You so have. That was, it looks that was amazing. A whole event. Um, Not stitchy related, but I ripped out the entire like interior of my car, pulled out the roof, and then had fabric for it that was too small. So, so I then had, had to, to fix. I then had to walk to a shop that was half an hour away. Not too far, but like just inconvenient. Added onto the process. So. So. This month. We are doing something called Stitch for Butterwick. Um, that's like a hashtag I made up. It's like, it's not a thing, but it is a thing now. It's a thing to you. Um, it is. So basically, um, it's gonna be a month of, like a month long charity fundraiser. Um, I work for Butterwick, but this has literally got nothing to do with them in the slightest, apart from the money to go into them. They didn't ask me to do this. They literally had no idea I was going to do this until very last minute and I'm doing it. I've chosen to do it because I've been saying for months that there is, like I want to do a charity <coughs> fundraiser because my, like something that's really important to me is giving back and that's a big part of the reason that I work where I work because I was saying to you for months I want to work for a charity yep. and help in like giving back to people. So for this fundraiser what we're doing is we're gonna stitch, well, I'm gonna stitch 100 hours for the month of November. I'm gonna try and finish Piccadilly. I'm gonna try and make some good progress on world map. I'm gonna try and get a couple of little finishes in. I'm gonna have some new starts. I'm gonna have some Old extra starts. videos. So my plan originally 
was to have a video every day in November. That's clearly not happened. Mm. Um, by the time I decided I was going to do this, <coughs> it was too late to pre-film and everything because I was pushing it off because I'm really busy with work and it's Christmas and Bella and it just seemed like too much but then very last minute I was like, no I am going to do this because I've been saying I want to give back, this is my way of giving back and then next year I'm going to push and do something even bigger and better. Um, so basically, Older. maybe. Maybe. Um, Sponsored skydive. Someone's doing that. Oh, yeah. That's skydive. Um, I'm not a fundraiser at work. Like that's a whole different team. I'm not in there. I just want to make that very clear. <coughs> I'm not. This, th like, has nothing to do with that. I'm not. Yeah, but basically, Butterwick Hospice Care have to raise like thousands of pounds a day just to be able to keep going with everything and being someone who works there I genuinely do see the impact that it has and like how much the money is needed if that makes sense um so for me it's a charity that's very very close to me it's one that we've done it to before I can say I think everyone in the family at one point or another has done it in the Butterwick now haven't they yeah so it's like it means a lot to me um basically so for November, we're going to have some extra videos. I don't want to commit to saying two a week, three a week, whatever. They're going to be extra. There's going to be more than one a week. And they're going to pop up randomly. I'm not giving myself a schedule. You'll still get your Sunday videos, but there's going to be other ones. Um, and all the money we make from AdSense on that. So basically, we get paid a small amount for each of our videos. For uh, like every person that watches them, we get, watches the ads, we yeah. get paid for them. <coughs> That's how it works. We're going to be donating all the money we make in the month of November into the Just Given page. So if you are interested and you would like to sponsor me to stitch 100 hours in November um, or you just want to support, there's a Just Given link down below. Um, we've had someone, well we've had a couple of people actually already support us. Thank you so much because... It's been very kind amounts as well. As yeah, very generous. very generous and I'm not asking for everyone to donate like as much as they can. Like tiny little donations, any, any donations, even just watching our videos, supporting us in any way you can, sharing like hashtag Stitch for Butterwick. It's like, all something and all goes towards. It all helps oh. and so I just really appreciate it and I just wanted to thank the people who have already donated. Um, but yeah, the video is going to be linked at the video. The link the is link going to be linked. To donate is going to be underneath all of our videos in November, and at the end of the month, I will give you guys an update. Actually, it'll probably be beginning of December on how much money we made from the YouTube videos, and add Donations. that into um, the Just Giving pot. So there we go. How many hours have you done so far in your hundred hours? I've done twelve, but I haven't stitched it all today. So, like five minutes 11 and a half, 11 and a half, um, so far, and I've been trying to keep track on my Instagram, but I'm trying not to post Piccadilly before it's finished, mm. because it's so close it's right now, and I want it to be like a, ta-da, and you can really see a difference rather than it working up really slowly, so, yeah. Um, this isn't a spoiler, but one of the videos we're going to film very, very soon is a whip parade, and we'd originally planned to do it for our um, one year on YouTube, but we're going to do it in November so that the money can be included in the pot. Mm. So you've got a whip parade coming up very soon and possibly a kit parade. So I'm, that's going to be a really long video when we get around to that. I'm and I'm really excited. I'm kit up uh, Jake's garage. I want it, there's a couple of heaven earth signs I want to kit up. We're on the, the multiple head kit. That's, that's um, not a very good hashtag. Somebody asked me on our last video what the, I think they said what was the eBay store you used to kit up your Heaven Earth designs. It's not an eBay store, it's an Etsy store and they're called Cross and Crafts. I will reply to that comment if I remember tonight, but if I don't and you watch this video, it's called Cross, mm, like the letter N, Crafts. Mm. N. Um, yeah. That's up there with the donkey. Oh, it's so... <laughs> Why, yeah, you got that. Should we do whips on new buys? Uh, I think, I don't know really. What would you rather do? How many new buys do you have compared to whips at the moment? I have the same. The same? Yeah. We'll start with new buys then. New buys. Okay, so I told you about these last week. This is the full set of Rose to Me. Um, I think it's like one to 
35 of the DMC colours. Let me just pull this out. Because they give you a little checklist. And you get this with the CXC ones as well. Um, yeah, it's one of 35. Hold up one second. Oh, yeah. Are we going to be able to see that? Is it going to zoom, focus, whatever? No? No, that's just messed up all the focus now. Oh, there we oh, go. There we go. Um, that was the business crafts. cards for Cross mm, Crafts. They're on Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, and their email is crossandcrafts at gmail.com if you have any questions. Um, I really thought I was doing something helpful there. <laughs> so, yeah, they give you a checklist to make sure that everything's in here, but I haven't gone through yet and checked. Some of these colours I recognise as ones that are in World Map. Like this orange. I think is one of the ones from World Map, and there's one of them greens, but there's three that look very similar. Can you that's name so the localised cool. bit of World Map that that's in? This uh, is it's in Egypt. Ah, this is Egypt orange. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, there to go with our CXC because a lot of the patterns that I've been getting recently have called for like 1 to 35 and CXC doesn't have them. So, these, I think they were something like £15 and you get 35 which is um. amazing. <laughs> I love I love my CXC and I can't see myself going back to DMC anytime soon for like smaller projects. So, no, unless it's for smaller projects. So there we go. I, I, I get, really like them I and I would recommend call. them. My computer's just lit up. I just knocked the keyboard. Sorry if that's affected anything. Um, I'm just gonna have a drink. How is everyone doing this week? Are you feeling cosy? Do you have a hot drink? Are you wearing snuddies? We're both in our snuddies. They're like oodies, but from Primark. But off brand. They're very warm. Our house is quite cold this evening. It is, isn't it? We I don't think the heating's on in the front. Cause they, need to we've that. not been in here, no. have we? But like cost of living. Turn your heating down. Buy a snuddy. Other Ooh. top tips. So yeah. Um, the second thing that I bought. Ta-da! This is my new uh, tiny little travel case. Travel case. <gasps> I just love it. The gold in it is like proper shiny metallic-y gold and that, and that just made me excited because I hadn't realised. So I've already stuffed it full <laughs> of the floss for this, which I'll show you in a minute, but I actually need to cut the fabric and put it in here. Look oh, it's already in here. Oh, I don't think I actually have the cover page for this. Looking at your uh, travel case, this reminded me of an in-joke. Basically, I bought a new travel case a, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And I don't think it had arrived by last week, but it, it's arrived this week. I just love it. And then the inside's like matching fabric, but not the exact same. Like this is mm. the light version, this is the dark version, and I just love it. I want another travel case already, just because of how much I like my haunted library one. I'm, yeah. I love them. It, I think this is my favourite thing to have accessory wise at the minute. Not that there's going to be a video coming out that says about all of my favourite accessories at any point in November. Dougie Dougie what now? But, you know, <laughs> I really like it. And basically I need to cut this fabric at about there just that I can fold it up and put it in with <coughs> the stuff because at the minute it's just separate. Mm. But what I like to do is have all my floss in these pouches here, then put my fabric flat in this bit here, and then there's like a pocket behind that, and I put my pattern in there. I think I said my pattern twice. I like to put my fabric with my project on in here, and then the pattern in the back. You could do like a full breakdown of, pack, like you've got a new kit, you've got a new travel case, you can package it all. Oh, I wish. That would be a good little like. That would be a That would good. be like a short, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So. You just give them that a hug. Yeah, I, lo I love it. <laughs> it was really um, sweet. Next thing, now, because I'm not going to show you this yet, this is a whip, is I'm going to spin this round. I'm going to take it off. Oh, dear Lord, are you going to light it up as well? Ta da! This is my Lowry stand. Welcome to the show. <laughs> um, it's got a scuff on it. How on earth have I scuffed Thanks it? Thanks for having me on. It's me, Lowry stand. <laughs> Um, and this is my new light. As you can see, I haven't even <coughs> taken off this bit of plastic yet. Um, this is a light that I bought from Amazon. Uh, very like spontaneous purchase because I'm the type of person that I will stitch in any light, in any condition. Like, I'm not 
I don't take care of my eyes, basically. Jess is like the equivalent of, you know, like early 2000s, you didn't have like backlit games consoles, so if you're on a long car journey, you'd have to like do everything by the street light. I, I used I'm, to be like that, but with reading. I've seen you, I'm pretty sure you will have stitched like that at some point on a, yeah, on a road probably. trip. Just like right against the window, street light to street light. Yeah, I would do that. <coughs> um, I just basically, I just love stitching too much to limit myself, which is really bad and I'm not suggesting anyone does that. But I bought this light and it's like fully flexible, but I clipped it because it comes with a clip on it. And I've just clipped it onto my Lowry stand and it's got this little, I'm gonna, there we go. So this is how bright it is and it's a USB one. So I've got my computer here and it just plugs into the back of it. Um, so you can, that's the brightest it goes, but it gets like dimmer, brighter, brighter. Um, and you can change it. So this is very cool lighting and it goes to warm lighting. Oh, it's like I'm on a tropical holiday. And then I just look too directly at it. And then this is in between, but I like to have it on a cool one because I feel like I can see better with it. Um, cool lighting just reminds me of like surgeries. Warm lighting made me nauseous when I was pregnant. It gave me morning sickness. If I walked into a room that had warm lighting, warm I would lighting get ill. Made you the so I need cool lighting where possible. Um, so this is amazing because if we ever have another baby, I don't need to worry. Well, I don't need to worry about my light making me ill. I can have it on cool. <coughs> what you could do, which would be really cool, is get like a little backpack and then strap it to yourself so you'll always have cool lighting with you. <laughs> there you go. Plastic's off now because I am keeping it. But I love that, that's... The decision brightness. has been made. It does get a bit warm, but, and I only know that, it doesn't affect anything, but because I stitch and I'm like, going, I'm very close to it. I do wonder about that, you know. It, it, I can feel it a little bit, but it's not much. It doesn't get hot. I'm surprised you, your fringe hasn't burnt off. Here we go. So, that is my new light, and I'll see if I can give you an example, actually. So I'll turn it towards me. So actually I might need to, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this. This is the project without the light, right? I don't know if this is gonna work the way I want I mean, it to. Oh no, oh yeah. And this is the project with the light. Story. Okay, I'm about to be abducted. This is so bright. Close it's encounters. so good. Yeah, I can see that, because this is a 56 count. It's a bit hard to see the holes, but I can see it very clearly with this light, so I might need to start stitching with this light on this. There we go. Should we move on to the next thing? Yeah. I've got two more things left to do, and one's a pattern and one's a kit. So, my pattern, I'll Your do that pattern. one first, because it's, it's still exciting, but the last thing I want it to be the big thing that I got. I'm still just uh, chipping away at this, so if you need me for anything. Looks good. Thank you. Um, I've bought this, uh, sti I think I said witchy stitcher, stitchy princess pattern. Come here face sweetie. There we go. And I'm gone. I just I'm love back. it. It's got so many cute little animals, there's a little hedgehog, and I was like, yeah, this is, this is the one for me. I mean, as it's known, you are a hedgehog. In the community. <laughs> Sounds a little bit strange, but yeah. I I love this pattern and I bought it before I bought the next thing because I thought I would just want something wintry to stitch on. Um, so yeah, I was like looking, because I, I always, I follow Stitchy Princess on Instagram and I'm always like seeing updates and stuff so I wanted to buy another pattern anyway and then I found that and I was like, yeah, okay, I need that. Um, yeah, that was purchase number one and purchase number two is a bit like of a big deal. So you may remember that I've been saying for ages that I really want to get the ho ho ho. Well, I wanted the ho 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 to be Dorian Spencer Davies because I was hoping that it would be The Holiday House. So the movie The Holiday, uh, Cameron Diaz, Jack Kate Black. Winslet. Yeah, I want to say Jack Black, Jude Jack Law. Black, Ju yeah, so many cool people in it. Dustin Hoffman's in it for like a second. Is he? Yeah, he's just in it for a second, but like I love that film and I saw it on someone posted it in the Gecko Rouge group a while ago, like the picture that Dorian Spencer Davis has done of the holiday house and it's like pinks and purples and it's so pretty and I was like I need that. And they were like, Oh, 
will you ever chart this? And they were like, maybe at some point. So basically I've been thinking, oh, it'll come out as a ho 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 if it's gonna come out at all. So I'm gonna buy the Dorian Spencer Davies one if it comes out. Well, ho ho got released. For those of you who don't know, it was Lorna Lane. And I was like, I like some of their stuff. I'm not really like Wouldn't want to gamble bothered. on one of their pieces though. And then I found, <laughs> so I get the Gecko Rouge emails, but they don't pop up as emails, like notifications. I have to go searching for them. I was searching to see if it had been released four minutes ago. I got the email and it was like, uh, ho, 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 will be this. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I went down and it was like, and Dorian Spencer Davies, special release, special early 10% off release of the Holiday House. And I was like, got it, get what? it, basket. I was like, I need it now. Uh, I literally rang her and I was like, they've released it, they've released it. Um, they did a normal version, which is like, a smaller version and then they did an extra large version which it's big don't get me wrong but it's not it's not well it's not big. massive i think it's like a bit bigger than wednesday i don't think okay. it's huge is my point but i was like so i, I spent a little bit of time looking between the two I and been room for like big pieces now though, haven't you yeah because i just don't well, yeah i don't think any piece is big unless it's like over a million stitches um, I mean, I do everyone else, I think they're big. I'm like, oh, that's such a big project, well done. But for me, I'm like, oh, it's a medium for me. There's no know? intimidation factor to it now, though, is there? No, I don't get scared at the thought of patterns anymore. Which is good, I think. But anyway, I was looking between them and I decided to go on for the bigger one because for the smaller one, the line work just wasn't as nice to me. It didn't say the holiday on the smaller one and it just looked a lot a lot more like the original piece to get the extra large version so I did that and I used my gold voucher on that and I'm so excited I check it every single day to see whether it's been sent and I know that there's like a four week backlog so I'm not getting it anytime soon but I'm just ready I'm just ready and it's my treat for myself because I've been going through a lot in my personal life and I feel like we're at the end of that now don't you yeah you have come to the end of that journey so it's so, nice that you're getting yourself something to mark that yeah and it's gonna it's wintry it's not just christmasy so i can stitch it for my birthday which my is birthday. in january by the way i'm not just like my birthday is in the middle of june and i'm like yeah. winter no it's january so makes sense i'm just I'm so excited they're all my i might need your help here right yeah no i'm just don't thread up again no i'm not threading up i'm actually packing up Oh. Well, I figured you'd need me for display purposes on this section. I will. Definitely As is my that. my usual uh, job. On I'm a just whip. gonna pull up the Gecko Rouge piece because I need everyone to see how beautiful it is. And if anyone wants to get it and stitch it like with me, like we can sell it together, maybe. So, maybe. What if anyone if, likes it, I mean, I if, love it. But what if maybe we uh, had a sell together? Here we go. Oh, it's just so pretty. So yeah, I love it so much. It's just so pretty. And you can tell what it is if you've seen the film. If you haven't seen the film, it just looks like a nice little cottage. So I love it. Alright, before I get the whips, I'm just going to go off camera a sec. Because I'm wearing a fleece under my skin. So I'm, like, too hot. I'm boiling a bag rye right now. Nice. Four. I have four whips to show you. <coughs> Whip. Whip. Alright. I'll do it like this first. Do you want to show off Piccadilly because of what you were just saying? Yeah, I'll show it in a video, but... I'll give you that oh, one first. Oh, I don't have my tablet to say how much I've got done. I'm nearly at 94% with this. That's all I can remember. I was going to say, you want me to hold it? I'll hold this. Um, so I'm nearly at 94%. Everything behind this is done. I just love it so much. As you can see, it's literally just like this bit. It's I've got really to fill HD. In. It does, doesn't it? Mm. It looks so nice. Proper crisp. I'm so excited to have this finished and I'm hoping that if it's done in November I can do some finishing videos with it mm. for everyone. What are your plans for finishing it? Are you gonna like frame it or I'm gonna wash it <coughs> all out completely mm. and then yeah I was gonna frame it and I'm gonna teach myself how to lace the back oh, right. so that it's framed properly don't look at the back, the back's horrendous. Oh my goodness. So that it's done properly. But we will see. We will see if I can teach myself that because that might be a bit much, but we'll see. You teach see. yourself a lot of things. I love it so much and it's so nearly done. And I said to write, it's going a lot slower now because it's all confetti, but 
I, like I'm hitting the last hundred stitches on everything or I'm like hitting a lot of zeros and I'm just like yes cool, just complete. get through to the Good end now I, I love it so much do you want to do that one next because it's there yeah <coughs> So this one's number two, you've seen it already in this video, do you want to hold oh, it up? I'm going to say I'll take it over to the camera so you Yeah, can... hold that bit so it doesn't unravel. Um, this one is called My Christmas List. Uh, let me just pull up. I'm just going to lower it in front of the camera because it's quite a small design. So there we Greek go. Quick Samplers, that's who does this. Um, I have messed up so you can see where the floss is in now with the needle to be stitched and um, that colour is the wrong colour, I picked up the wrong one um, it's meant, can you lift that back up please it's meant to still be a brown but not that brown that brown's like the brown for the turkey mm. I picked up the wrong one, which is fine but I just need to frog it um, and it's quite hard to do in uh, 56, 56. count um, so I've put off doing it but I love it so much I and I just I love that piece and I, it's so quick to stitch. Yeah, I really like it. Mm, it's a really nice piece. It's quite, gets you in the mood, doesn't it? It does. We, we were watching Muppets Christmas Carol. Then Elf. Yeah, but I didn't watch Elf properly. I need to watch Elf. Double Elf. I didn't watch it. Elf. What were we doing then? I, I must have been stitching. I think I was stitching on Wednesday. Don't remember. I was stitching on something and I wasn't watching it. So I need to watch it again. Properly. <laughs> well, it's going to be that time of year soon where we we'll crack out Die Hard. We can watch it tomorrow if you want. Watch it tonight if you want. So yeah, that's... Depends how tired we are. Yeah. I don't have this piece on Pattern Keeper, so I have no idea the percentage. And I'm not marking it off on the pattern, so I can give the pattern away when it's done. So there we go. Spread the pattern, spread the love. Exactly. And Hedgerow is going to be finished very, very soon, I think. So... That might be a giveaway in November as well. You should finish head rolls like a notebook cover or something. I really like it. So you could just like slip it on like a yeah. little sleeve. That would be a good idea. I need to work out how that mm. like the logistics yeah, of that. That was my wrists cracking by the way. That's not good. Not nice. Should we get your favourite day of the week? Yeah. Fun fact, I want to call our child our next child Wednesday. We're not going to, we've changed the decision on the name, but if we have another girl, at one point she was going to be called Wednesday. Is that alright? Because I don't want to hit you in the face with it, but I also don't want it to be too far off camera. Uh, yeah, I've only, I've literally done nothing interesting on this, and I just want to let everyone know, I've done this bit, I've done this bit, this bit, this bit, and this bit. I'm just filling in background while I'm watching things, I think I was watching the Kardashians while we did that the other day. We? Well, I was working on that the other day. Um, and it's just like easy and fast to fill in the background. So that's what I've been working on. I want to kind of do some more of the letters soon though. Like the really dark, I think it's navy mm. in them. Just make some pop. So I might go in and do that sometime. But I hadn't realised how much of this I'd stitched. Because this bit here looks very similar to the colour of the fabric. So I was looking at it and I was like... Oh, I've got like a big chunk in the middle that I forgot to stitch, and then I was like, oh wait, no, that is stitched. <laughs> I just really like it. Is that just the um, thingy on the words? The highlight? Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't think of the word then. Yeah. Um, and my mum was asking me the other day, how far down does it go? Because obviously this is a scroll frame, so my fabric's wrapped around the top and the bottom. And I was saying, I think that this here is about halfway. Mm because I started at the middle point worked out and worked, yeah, worked my way up her hair I think I did her whole hair and then the face and then I went up yeah, I don't know what <laughs> getting tangled but this is thing, this is Wednesday it's gonna say be afraid, be very afraid and then she's got the little bottle, some skull I just love it I love it. And I don't know why I'm explaining it, because majority of people will have seen it. Actually, no. This video I'm not going to include what each piece looks like finished. But in the next video, uh, so th I'm not saying it's going to be the next video, sorry. In the whip parade, I'll put in, this is what it looks like finished, this is how far I am. Mm. And I might include, so on my Instagram, I have highlights. And if you go on the highlights, you can tap through and see the pieces getting made. So like Piccadilly is amazing. So I might yeah, include that as well. I really like this piece. It's 
Go pace. I've decided as well. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe. I don't know what's going on here because this looks a lot darker to me than the rest of the grey. But it's probably just an optical illusion. Um, but I'm doing the background now in two over one tenth stitch. Just to get it done a little bit quicker as well. And I did like a thousand stitches on it the other day. So it works. Yeah. But everything like in and all of the inside, that's all going to be one over one full cross. But mm. the background just might as well. It's what I'm doing with Bohemia. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this. This is a uh, canny little fox. This is Gecko Rouge. The whole kit's Gecko Rouge. Done by Medusa Dollmaker. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot what the world I looked like there. I going to be so long. <laughs> right. Final week. This is the one I give to you to pack and unpack. I really want to work on shelf life, but at the minute my... My focus needs to be this piece. And I don't stitch on this every day, but I, when I do stitch on it, I make some good progress. Oh, I forgot, I have another new buy. Oh my goodness. I bought um, magnetic zip ties. They work on three sides, but the fourth side could not be contained. <laughs> so the fabric's all rolled up on the sides and then zip tied in um, with these magnets, and it's great. But. Here's world map. I think I hit 0.3% on it. Not point not, not point not three. No. No, not point three. I was gonna say, do you want a bigger woo or a smaller woo? Not point three something, I think. Um my computer's upstairs with the pattern keeper on, so I'm, I can't remember right now. Did I take a picture of it? Give me one second and I'll see. Can you see where I've stitched so far, Ray? What, in the back? No. Like can you just down here at the bottom of Egypt? Yeah, I was doing the pyramids and I did a bit more in the blue. So what is it? It's just like the pyramids or is it like the sphinx as well? I think it's just the pyramids and then there's giraffes and then to the left there's like another little country flag. I didn't realise Italy and Egypt were like so close. I don't think they're that close in real life. Well, no, I didn't think this was to scale. You might have done. You know, I just don't know. Tip. I'm in Italy and I'll just take a quick hop, skip and a jump over to Egypt. Oh, I haven't done as much as I thought I had. 0.24%. So I've done four and a half thousand stitches on it. There's, that was a firework. Yeah, that was a big firework. Um, so yeah, I've been working quite hard on this and I really like it. And it's 32 count, one over one, half cross. And I love it very, very much. I think they were out, out front tonight, so it would scare them a bit more as well. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Restarting was the way to go with this, definitely. And I'm over 10% of what I had done before, so. So there you go. There we go. Oh. I'm gonna tuck it back away now. We now have Pippin in the room with us. Be, be afraid, be very afraid. He's such a good boy. He is a good boy. He was Santa the other day. He was Santa, I'll put a picture. So, like I say, I've been working on other progress because, bit of context, mentioned it before, my car's not the best, but we've been fixing it up and making it a bit better, so that's where it's kind of been this week, because primarily when you're not using York, like when Jess isn't use, is not using her car, mine's toddler shuttle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we needed to make it a bit safer and a bit more, well, practical. Enjoyable to yeah. be in. So, that's been like the focus of this week, and it's, it is now better, so... I think three year old small child is happy. But I've not really done much else on it. Like, as. as can you watch your face a sec? It's like caught onto you. Oh, there we go. Other than the railing that's been added on this side, that's what I've been stitching today. Like I say, it's taken a bit of a back seat to everything else that's happened this week because we've been very busy, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Today's been a week. And I've been prepping for when my new job starts. I've got to get in touch with HR tomorrow as well because. Uh, the format that they've used to get in touch with me is no longer working for me. So that's fun. I have to go track that down and see what's happening. It'll be fine though. It'll be fine. It'll be great. And in other news as well, I hit a thousand followers on Instagram today. Was it this morning? It was this morning. It was when I was downstairs making breakfast, wasn't it? Very, very, very exciting. Great stuff. 
yeah it's, it's been a really good <coughs> week this week i've been feeling good for part of it for part of it i was feeling a bit iffy but i'm feeling good towards the end of the week it's been a lot hasn't it, it it's, has been, been, it's a been a lot. roller coaster do you guys want to see bella and ryan walk this morning Cute. My, I would like to say as well, my hair was done before she got up there. Yeah. First thing she did was just start like. But because I've had a haircut, I've not been wearing my trademark hats as much ever. Yeah, which has been good. Um, Jess doesn't like me wearing hats. It's not right with him wearing hats. There's like a bonk, so I just don't like it. Um, very selfish, I know. Someone put on TikTok because I know that. If you're just here for stitchy things, you can go. If you're here to just have a chat and maybe about Christmas, stay. Have some background hello. noise of Jess. Um, someone put on TikTok, uh, like swipe through of a lot of different Christmas movies. And I just wanted to like do a little review of like which ones I've seen. Babe, can you grab my drink while you're there, please? And my fudge. Yes, oh, no. What? I don't know where this has been stored or what's happened to it but it's got like score marks through it like someone's gone at it with a knife yeah. look on it and feel it oh that looks like it's been pushed into like a box corner or something but yeah it's been scarred up but die hard christmas for every year and for everyone just so you all know i did buy Ryan a christmas present of die hard it was a print that someone had done of Die Hard, so, you know. Right, Elf, have you seen it? I have seen it, what, yes. What would you rate it out of 10? Oh, we're doing out of 10 ratings. Yeah, cause... and I want to know people's ratings either in the comments or DM oh, me. You're not going to like this though, because I, I don't have as much thing with Elf. Out of 10? I'd give it a 7. That's alright. I'd give it a 9.5. I feel like I'd because be Because there's higher. a bit of sick in it. I feel like I would be higher up if I, I had that nostalgia factor with That's Elf. That's fair enough. Home Alone, the first one. Uh, absolutely banging. I'd give it an eight and a half to a nine because I, I do have that nostalgia factor with Home Alone. I would, I would give it a five <coughs> because I was traumatised by it as a kid, could not watch it. Was terrified it. Of, no, the bit with the iron. Oh. Couldn't yeah. watch it and I was absolutely terrified. So I have no idea what actually happens in it because I've only really watched number two after that. Yeah. But we, could, we should watch Home Alone. They made a movie entirely for Home Alone. Angels with Filthy Souls. What he, what the movie he watches with the pizza delivery scene. Yeah. That's been just entirely made for Home Alone, which is pretty cool. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I'd give this an 8. I, I really like this I one. I do not remember this movie at all. I remember <laughs> he sees um, Donald Trump in Trump Tower. And that's, that's the only thing I remember. Mm -hmm. Maybe the bird lady who looks like Piers Morgan. The Grinch. The animated one. Oh, I don't, it's not I'd as good give as it a six. It's fine. Four. It's good that Grand. Tyler the Creator sings in it, but other than that, ah, oh, Jim the Carrey Grinch. Grinch. Ten. Ten. Top ten movie. Ten as well. I love the, that film. It's also really cool now that she does like parkour and mm -hmm. she's in like a punk band. Jim I think Carrey this is Disney's Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol. I think it's Disney, is it? I think it is. I went to the cinema to see this. No, it doesn't say. I don't know. I've, I've seen it once. Yeah, I cannot remember. The only thing I remember is at the beginning he's got the little <coughs> coins on his eyes. I, so I'd give that like a three because I just don't remember yeah, it. Yeah, I'd, I'd be about the same. Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I can't say my opinion on this, but I, I didn't enjoy it all that much. I'd give it a nine. I don't I have that film. factor with it. I, I do love this film. I, I don't want to say the O word. I don't know what the O word is, but we're going to move on. I said it. I didn't want to. I said it. Made my opinion known. After Christmas. Never seen it before until Bella got like obsessed with it in the summer for yeah, some reason. Yeah, she loved it. She was like, I want to watch Arthur Arthur Christmas. Christmas. And she was asking for like every day and I was like, no, we're not watching Arthur Christmas every day. Arthur Christmas, I would give a seven and a half. I like Arthur Christmas. Yeah. Not, I not seen, seen Last Christmas. Last Christmas, the one with... Amelia Clark. Yeah, I've not seen and it. I recognise him. Henry Golding. Yeah, that's him from The Gentleman, is it not? If you've seen the movie, let me know. It's Polar Express. Really good. Absolutely terrifying. Oh, because it's, un like it's it. Uncanny Valley. Yeah. I like how the Tokyo Drifter train, though. That's cool. The hot chocolate scene's good, but I haven't seen the rest. I don't remember the rest of it. We've we kind of just dropped off on ratings now, haven't we? 
Christmas with the Cranks. I've never seen this. No, I've never seen it. A Tim Allen though. That looks like Jamie. Lee. It is Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> and oh, Tim Allen. Something for everyone then. The Holiday Ten. I don't think I've seen all of it. We'll be watching that this year. Don't okay. worry, everyone. Frozen. Wouldn't say that's a Christmas film, but no. I give it a solid eight. Well, I mean, it's in the middle of summer, isn't it? No, this is the first one. Yeah, it's like in the middle. Oh yeah, of, it's, it's in summer. the middle of summer. Yeah. Yeah, Frozen Two. I'd give that one a nine. I like Frozen Two more than Frozen One. I would give it a nine just because of your interpretive dance to Lost in the Woods. I do do a good interpretive dance. <laughs> mean Girls. I'm not sure that I would say that was a Christmas film either, but. I, I seem to like it though. I'd give, I remember, it an eight. I'd give it a seven. I like Mean Girls. The Office. The, this is like specific episodes, <coughs> I'm assuming. Uh, 10 out of 10. Office Love The Office. A brilliant show. Love The Office. The American version of The Office. Sometimes though, I, I can't watch it because I, yeah, I just cringe too much. I'm There's like, certain episodes. Oh. Uh, Daddy's Home. Never, Never seen, seen it. it. Jinx. Daddy's Home too. Well, Never seen that's it. That's John Lithgow though, isn't it? Yeah, that is. There we go, I think. Linda Cardellini. I oh, say her Belma. name wrong. Uh, Pretty Little Liars. I've never, never seen, seen that. It. Muppets Christmas Carol. Ten. A million out of ten. Best Christmas movie yeah, ever. That's, it, oh. oh, you know what would be even better? What? Muppets does Die Hard. Yeah. How good would that be? I would watch it and I'd enjoy it. You enjoy Die Hard. Uh, Chronicles of Narnia. I've seen this once and I don't remember it. Yeah, no, I think I think I'd give it a five though. I don't like how I don't remember his name, but he betrayed his family for Turkish delight. That's just, nah. I don't. The Boy Who Called Christmas. I've never, never seen, seen that. It. National Lampoon's <coughs> Christmas Vacation. Never seen it. I've seen this. My mum bought it on DVD and we got like five minutes into it and turned it off. I don't remember why. Santa Claus. I got that one for free in the Daily Mail one, yeah. Is it the Santa Claus? No, that's a different... That's I not the Tim Allen I think I got that one and you get to like, trick for working for like a candy company. I got it for like, you know, the free DVDs you used to get on like the mail on Sunday or something. Yeah, it was that. I quite like um, Miracle on 34th Street, The Santa Claus. The Sa Am I thinking of The Santa Claus? That's the Tim Allen one where he gets tricked into being Santa. I can't really remember. There was one movie I really liked and it was called Grounded. And like an entire like thing in um, is it How I Met Your Mother ripped, it, ripped off part of the storyline. <laughs> you know Marshall's like the environmentalist and he has to drive a Hummer. Yeah. Yeah, the entire bit about the dad rescuing the kids from the airport. He's like, like makes oh. like safe, environmentally safe cars, and he has to drive a Hummer, and it's like a whole thing. The dog just made a strange noise. Right. Dog makes strange noises though. Dog's they, strange. Let us know your opinions on the films, and yeah, if if you want to donate, feel free. We'll be sharing loads of videos, so there's ways to help, even if you don't want to or can't mm. or anything like that so thank you guys very much we really appreciate you watching this video this month especially um and yeah we'll see you next week maybe sooner what's this week's word of the week before you sign up heron 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 because i was looking at that there we go then bye everyone bye